Hello and welcome to another video from the events calendar. My name is James and in this video we're going to talk about our extension library. We're going to talk about what an extension is and how you can use them on your WordPress website. So first things first, what is an extension? An extension is just what we call some of our plugins. So we basically have two classes of plugins. There's our core plugins like the events calendar, the events calendar pro, event tickets, filter bar, etc. And then we have some plugins that aren't really part of our core offering. Um, they don't get the same attention and support as those core plugins, but they are still plugins that you can install on your WordPress website that add various bits of functionality related to our core plugins. So they're basically enhancements that you can choose to install and uh, they're completely free. And like I said, they don't get the same support as our core plugins. So if you encounter an issue with one of those extensions, you know, please feel free to let us know about it. Uh, but just know that there probably won't be as fast of a turnaround time on fixing those bugs as there would be if you found a bug in say the events calendar. But that being said, the, the extensions are very helpful. Most of them have been created by our developers and some of them have been contributed to by some of our customers. And we have a list of all these extensions that you can browse through. If you're on our website, theeventscounter.com, you can actually just hop over to products and click on free extensions. And you'll see a list here of extensions. And if we click on one, we'll get some information about what this extension does, as well as a little uh, blurb here, basically reiterating what I just said. You know, we provide limited support for extensions, but you can still open a ticket um, over at our help desk if you encounter an issue with one of these extensions. Um, but as far as how they work, they are, like I said, they're just WordPress plugins. So you can download it from here. Once you click the box here to acknowledge that you read this little message, you can click download and it will download a zip file to your computer. And then you can go install that on your WordPress website, just like you would any other plugin that you might have downloaded from our website or anywhere else. You'll notice over here on the left side, we have some filters. So, um, you know, you can browse extensions that are related to the events calendar or some extensions that require events calendar pro. The one I'm looking at right now, members only tickets. This one requires event tickets plus. Um, you can see there's a lot of different filters you can use to search for extensions. I'm just gonna go back to the main page and I'm going to try out this extension right here. Remove past events. So I'm going to click the checkbox and download it. Then I'm gonna hop on over to my WordPress website, go to plugins, add new. I want to choose upload plugin. And I'm gonna go find that zip file that I just downloaded. There it is and we'll click install now. Just like any other plugin, we do need to make sure we click activate plugin and we can now begin using this plugin. So I'm gonna go back to the extension page and just read the description for this particular extension that I downloaded. Remove past events. So the events calendar gives you functionality to automatically trash or permanently delete events from your calendar that have passed a certain selected time. So these settings can be found in events, settings, general tab, move to trash events older than and permanently delete. So by default, the earliest time you can choose is one month. So events that are older than one month will be removed. This extension adds a few more frequencies to that setting. So here's the new list. So what this extension is doing is it's basically building on a setting that already existed within the events calendar, and it just adds some more options that weren't there by default. So I'm gonna go up here to events, settings, general, move to trash in our website, events, settings, general tab, and we'll go find the move to trash setting. Here it is, move to trash events older than, and just like the extension says, we have a whole list of options here that weren't there before. Before this extension was installed, one month was the only option we had. So this is just a great example of um, an extension that you know we didn't feel like it was probably worth trying to charge people for. Um, it just adds a little extra bit of functionality that not everybody needs, but some people might need it. So we went ahead and made the plugin and put it on our extensions list and it's available for anybody to uh, go there and download it and add it to their website. So I highly recommend you check out our extension library. Again, you can find it at theeventscalendar.com and under the products tab, just click on free extensions and browse through the list and just see what is available out there. They're all free. You can download it and install it. Some do require some of our pro plugins. And so just make sure that, that you're aware of which plugins this particular extension is going to enhance. 
And like I said, if you do encounter some issues, please feel free to let us know. We might not have a super fast turnaround on it, but we will look at it and we will uh, do what we can to uh, figure out what's going on. So thanks for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one.